Hi class, welcome to our class today. Today we will be doing lesson 29 and 30. Okay, and this lesson can be found in your download CFR form 5 textbook at page 43. Alright, hope all of you all are ready. Well, so our topic for today will be shopping therapy. Alright, so I'm sure all of us love shopping, right? Okay, including me, I love shopping too. So when we go shopping, we normally go to malls, right? Um, supermarkets. Okay, there are many places where we can shop. Like now, these days, we can also shop online, right? So in our country, there are many popular or famous malls. Okay, for example, like we have Pavilion, uh, Mid Valley, okay, we have Surya KLCC, right? And we also have places like Sogo. Okay, not only that, there are even smaller malls and um, other shops where we can go for shopping. All right, let's look at. Well, so today we will look at this department store or a shopping center which is called Harrods, all right? So Harrods is actually in England, okay? It is home to over 5,000 brands, shops, designer fashion and accessories, luxury beauty, fine jewelry and watches, food, furniture and more, okay? People can shop in store as well as they can shop online. Okay, and the Harrods motto is Omnia Omnibus Ubik, which means in Latin, for all things, for all people, everywhere. So, this means you can actually shop anything and everything in this place. And in an average day, around 300,000 people actually step into this shopping center to shop. People are just crazy over Harrods. All right. Now let's look at this picture which is found on page 43 in your textbook. Okay, look at the pictures and where you can buy these items. Okay, so the first one, high heels, shoes. Okay, where can we buy them? Normally in shoe shop, departmental stores, markets and now at this current world, we can also shop online. Alright, next one. Okay, let's look at this one. There's a bag of vegetables here and also fruits. So where can we buy them? We can buy in supermarkets, markets and uh, I mean uh, online shops as well. Alright, okay. So our next picture, okay, a camera. Okay, where can we buy a camera? Alright, in photography shop, electronic shops or we can buy them online. Okay, and our third picture Okay, pet food. Where can we buy them? Okay, of course, in a pet shop, in supermarkets or online. Okay, these days, online has become a, a very important uh, or a prominent uh, method or way how we can shop. And it's very convenient. Alright, imagine it's your birthday. Make a list of presents you would like to receive. Okay, be realistic. Okay, if, if we are given an option to choose whatever we want or whatever we like, okay, at this current, um, you know, this current time, people would prefer going for gadgets, especially teenagers like you. Uh, I'm sure you all will go for gifts as in, you know, which is related to technology, something that you can use for your daily use, for your daily usage, okay, things like, uh, maybe a virtual reality box, okay, mobile phones, all right, headphone, maybe a tab, uh, a digital watch, a drone, all right, Xbox, or maybe a tripod, a digital tripod, all right. So these are certain things that people, some people probably you, you can't afford them, but so if it's just an imaginary. Uh, thing where you want to list down, I'm sure your list will go on and on and on, right? Alright. Ok, 
Okay, so now what are we going to do is we are going to watch a short video about Harrods. Remember the shopping mall or the shopping center, the picture that I showed you just now. Okay, so we are going to watch a short video. Okay, so Harrods is the world's most famous department store. Okay, what is Harrods motto? And how many customers does Harrods have on average every day? All right? Okay, uh, let's listen on. Let's watch this video. Welcome back as we take you on a tour now of the world's most famous department store, Harrods. Of course, no visit to London is complete without a walk through the store that's motto is all things for all people everywhere. On busy days, it attracts 300,000 shoppers and employs more than 5,000 people from over 50 countries. So, let's go shopping. Here's David Eccleston. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Harrods. If you leave London without a Harrods bag, then you fail, really, as a tourist. You do notice the people that haven't been here before because they sort of walk around in awe. If there was an Olympics for department stores, you're looking at the unbackable favourite for gold. When people visit London, the top tourist attractions in order are Buckingham Palace, the Big Ben, and here, Harrods, the most famous department store on earth. We have everything here from something for 4 95 up to £4 million. The brief is simple. The more extraordinary, exquisite and excessive, the better. From fine pharaohs, chocolates to champagne, even their own signature beer. Seven floors of adult retail indulgence and the world's most exclusive designer brands. Mark Briggs is in charge of the Harrods image. The whole thing that we actually do at Harrods here is to make sure that someone can come in, can shop and buy something and get a souvenir of their visit to the store, um, but also we will actually get you anything you want um, from an elephant to a helicopter. And you really have had a request for an elephant? We have indeed. Uh, we <laughs> did actually you deliver? Have. We did. How many stores can boast 300,000 customers through the door every day and offer an honour degree to its 5,000 proud members of staff? Harrods isn't just a shop, it's a national icon. Last year it's claimed to have put through the tills more than a billion dollars in sales, a profit of 190 million Australian dollars. It's like Christmas, it really was, it was just amazing. Aussie Sandy Parker and Peter and Marilyn Webster are here to watch the games and for a bit of retail therapy. There's no prices and I just thought if you have to ask the price, you can't afford it probably. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to know the price, no. do you? <laughs> Always dreamt of buying an Aston Martin car? Well, you can. This one is $75,000. The Aston Martin wine cooler shaped from the car's interior. That's just $44,000. And if you buy that, you'll need one of these. A handmade champagne flute. Yours for $12,000 a piece. And I'm not sure I'd be putting that in the dishwasher. They call this art with a price tag to match, $150,000. A life-size hand grenade might be more your thing. Or even your very own Diamond Oscar, $180,000. Imagine the delivery charge. It's a department store with theatre, with experience. I mean, it does really bring out the child in all of us. UK retail expert Claire Rayner says despite the no-expense-spared approach, to its seven floors of extravagance, the Harrods brand is booming. If you look at the price point, a small transaction could be a couple of thousand pounds. So it doesn't take a lot of transactions to make quite a significant revenue. And the, the whole ethos of a luxury department store is to ensure that the staff are there and that you can have that one-to-one -one attention. And this playground is certainly fit for a king. Open just in time for the games. This is your first look at the latest crowd puller in store. The Toy Kingdom, the biggest department toy store in the world. That really just goes on and on and on. It's, a, as I say, a magical day out. Um, we would welcome any customer from across the world, um, at any level. Um, and of course, as you leave the store, uh, we would thank you for shopping at Harrods. Up until two years ago, Harrods was owned by Egyptian tycoon Mohammed Al-Fayed, who spent millions restoring the historical charm of the department store while adding his own extravagance, including the $30 million Egyptian escalator, 
were told travels at the speed of the River Nile. He sold the department store for 1.5 billion pounds. That's 2.25 billion Australian dollars. People with money have still got money and they're still spending it and they like to spend it here. All right. So I guess you watched the video and you see how is this place, right? It is like a very prominent place and people just love shopping in Harrods. All right. So when we saw just now, their price range starts from 4.954 dollars 95 pounds, right up to 4 million pounds, right? They have things so cheap as well as till right up to about 4 million pounds. All right. So what was the motto of or Harrods or what is the motto of Harrods right I guess you heard it just now it is all things for all people everywhere so meaning anyone can go and shop there because they have everything all right and you know customers per day how many people roughly go I mean they visit Harrods roughly around an average of 300,000 per day okay this is per day Right, that's a lot. Well, let's look at this exercise. Okay, where do you prefer to buy these items? Right, S for traditional shops or O for online shopping. Okay, so this goes back to our own preference. Some people they prefer trying out clothes, you know, they have to try to fit in and see if the shoe fits them so it goes back to individuals some just do not want to waste their time in shopping centers and shopping malls so they will just opt to buy it online okay have you bought any of the items in number one online what are the advantages and disadvantages of buying goods online all right so uh, it goes back to us Alright, so the advantages normally they are convenient, they are cheaper, no crowd and you can shop anytime in the comfort of your own bed. You can just lie down and use your phones and you can buy your things. As for the disadvantages, it sometimes it's not convenient because not everyone has got um, smartphones which has data where you have to browse right and certain applications that you need to have like for example all these online shopping um, sites and all that so not everyone is um, familiar with all those kind of things and sometimes online shopping is also more expensive because you got to pay for the transportation as well and the the sad part is uh, you may probably be disappointed by receiving fake goods all right Okay, so let's look at the next exercise. Look at the picture of the GTA and read the text. Briefly describe how it works. All right, so if you look at your um, download textbook on page 44 and 45, you will see um, these four articles, right? So the first one is an advertisement. Play your favorite music in minutes. All right. So no lesson needed. The guitar, the Gita by incident is a fully digital guitar that lets you play music quickly and easily with the help of flashing colored lights and apps from your iPhone. All right. Only iPhone. Okay. Interactive fretboard lights up in different ways to show you where to put your fingers tracks how well you are doing as you play all right so this is a digital guitar and um, you can just play even if you do not know how to play a guitar you will be able to play this okay the gita app okay designed to help anybody start playing the guitar as quickly as possible just pick a song and start playing three levels of difficulties all right so meaning it has got three levels of difficulty here means as the song gets further i mean um, when you go to a different level the song is more difficult to play all right so that's what they mean here three levels of difficulty all right 
so you see this is an advertisement so it is written using formal english all right see it is very formal the way they have put this thing okay so let's look at the next one b okay b is a review okay so review means someone has given their own review okay if you have ever picked up a guitar for the first time and tried to play a song you know how frustrating it can be well the guitar changes that completely when i first heard about the guitar i was skeptical could it really make guitar playing as simple as the company claimed once i'd tried it though i was blown away this isn't a cheap plastic toy it's made of solid wood and feels like a genuine electric guitar pop in your iphone activate the app choose your song and start playing it's that easy priced at $399 it's an affordable instrument for hobbyists amateurs and anyone who wants to grasp the essential of guitar playing all right so look at this review this review is written by someone who has actually experienced using this um gita all right so when you um really analyze this review this is written uh informally so you will see lots of contractions can you see here i'd isn't right it's all right so and um see you've okay if you have, have ever picked up you know so they have used a lot of contractions here so this is written by someone and this is a review all right so let's look at the next one c f a q okay f a q means frequently asked questions all right where does the gita get power from okay the gita has a battery that lasts between 6 to 8 hours when it is fully charged to charge the gita you can use the usb charger that is included or you can plug the gita into any standard usb dock on a computer all right so the next question what phones will it work with currently the gita is compatible with the iphone 4 or 4s and the iphone 5 we hope to make it possible to use with other smartphones in the future all right the third question how do i get the gita app the gita app is available for free in the app store okay and the final question what will this teach me how to play on a normal guitar we designed the gita to be virtually identical to a normal guitar so playing it will teach you the basics that you would need to play on a regular guitar all right so you look at this a b and c it actually talks about the gita all right and it gives us information what is it all about how to go about using it and the features of it all right so let's look at d okay so looking at the picture okay this d is an email all right it is from a person here to another person and it has a subject okay bob's birthday present okay hi jimmy i've come across something online that i think bob will really go for it's called the gita It looks like a real guitar but it's not a video game like Guitar Hero. The reviews have been great too. Now, it's not cheap, but if a few offers put in the money, we'll be able to buy it. Here's the link to the company's website. Take a look and let me know what you think. All right, so this is the website. It's only available online, so you can't test it in a shop. But there's an instructional video on the website joe all right so you see this is just an email uh, suggesting bob's birthday present whereas a b and c talks about gita how to use it the features right okay so 
Now let's try to answer these questions. Right, so look at the picture of the Gita and read the text. Briefly describe how it works. Okay, let's look at question 1. Okay, question 1 refers to section A. What is true about the Gita? Okay, A. There are colored lights on the app. B. The songs can last a few minutes. You listen to the songs with your iPhone. And D. The songs can become harder to play. All right. So what is the answer? Okay, it's definitely not A because there are colored lights on the app. It's not on the app, but it's on that Gita itself. The songs can last a few minutes. Okay, it's not mentioned at all that it lasts a few minutes. Okay, you listen to the songs with your iPhone. You do not listen with your iPhone, but you use, you see, it's um, the Gita app is designed to help anybody start playing the guitar as quickly as possible. It is not that you listen to the songs with your iPhone. And D, the song can become harder to play. Alright, so the answer is D. Why the answer is D? Because here, three levels of difficulty. Alright, so the songs can become harder to play because there are three different levels of uh, difficulty. So let's look at question 2. Okay, question 2 refers to section B. What is the writer's opinion of the product? Alright, so let's look at A. He hadn't expected it to be so good. B. He found it rather frustrating. C. It made him feel like an amateur. D. It doesn't match the maker's claim. Alright, so what is the answer? Okay, the answer is A. He hadn't expected it to be so good because he's amazed to see why, uh, I mean, a person who can actually cannot play guitar, they will be able to play a guitar if they actually have a guitar, this digital guitar. See, it says here, when I first heard about the guitar, I was skeptical. Could it really make guitar playing as simple as the company claim? Once I tried it, though I was blown away. All right. So the the reader, the writer is actually saying that he was blown away, meaning, meaning he was amazed. All right. So it is a very good product. All right. So let's look at the next question. Okay. Question three and four. Okay. Refer to section C. Which statement about the Gita is not true? All right. So what is the answer? Okay, the answer is B. It can be used with any kind of smartphone. All right, it is not. You can only use it with iPhone 4, 4S and with iPhone 5. Right, okay, and then they said here, we hope to make it possible to use with other smartphones in the future. Okay, we have not, they do not have, uh, I mean, uh, it is not compatible with other smartphones. Uh, other uh, smartphones you can only use iPhone. Alright, uh, number four. What is the purpose of section C? Right, so what is this? This is to what? Is it to sell more extras with the product? To ask people's opinion of the product? To promote the product to customers? Or to provide information many people need? Alright, so the answer is to provide information many people need. See, it tells you other things about the product. Alright, so let's look at question 5 refers to section D. What does Joe suggest in his email? Okay, let's check the answer. Alright, he, he suggests that a group of them can share the cost because the GTA is actually expensive. If one person is going to pay, then it's going to be quite a lot. So he suggests, okay, he suggests that if there's many people um, you know, they chip in the money, they can buy it. Alright, he says, now it's not cheap, but if a few of us put in the money, we'll be able to buy it. So, a group of them can share the cost. Alright, so let's look at questions 6 and 7. This refers refer to section A, B, and A, B, C, and D. Okay, which sections give information about how the GTA works? Alright, as I said just now, Okay, this is the advertisement, this is a review and these are the frequently asked questions and this was an email of them talking about 
Bob's birthday present. Nothing to do with about Jita. They were just suggesting to buy the Jita. So, rightfully the answer is A. A, B and C. Alright. Who would probably want to buy a Jita? A member of a rock band, someone already learning the guitar, a first time guitar player or a music teacher. Alright, so this is very obvious, a first time guitar player. Alright, because it says here, no lessons needed. So, meaning you do not need to have any knowledge in playing guitar if you have a jita. Alright, okay, let's look at this. Uh, exercise 5. Complete the sentences with these words. Compatible, genuine, instructional, regular, skeptical and standard. Alright, so let's look at the first one. Okay, I need advice and information about how to use my new smartphone. I hope there is some dash material I can view online. So what is the answer? All right, it is instructional material. All right, instructional material here means uh, probably there is an, a manual inside how to go about using the phone. All right, so let's look at number two. My mobile phone isn't very fancy. It's just a dash phone that I can use to make calls and send texts. All right, so the answer is regular. Okay, regular means it's just an ordinary phone. Alright, so let's look at number three. You can't use a Sony charger with a Nokia phone as they aren't. Okay, the answer is compatible. Okay, compatible meaning uh, it doesn't fit. It's not suitable for because Sony is a different brand. Nokia is another brand. So you can't use a Sony charger for Nokia. Alright, so let's look at number four. Digital cameras have become a dash feature that is available on most new mobile phones. Alright, so what is that? It is a standard feature. So meaning, if you, um, if you have a basic smartphone, in your smartphone, you will definitely have the camera feature. Okay, most, mostly or I think probably all smartphones have got digital camera features. Alright, so let's look at number 5. I was very dash when 3D TVs came out because I thought it would be annoying to wear the special glasses. Alright, so let's see what's the answer. Okay, I was very skeptical when 3D TVs first came out because I thought it would be annoying to wear the special glasses. Alright, so let's look at number 6. The bag I wanted to buy was expensive because it was made of what leather? It was made of genuine leather. Alright? Okay, so let's look at exercise 6. Think up a new gadget and write an advertisement for it, including include the following information. Alright, so you can think of any gadget, okay, anything that you uh, like. Alright, it can be anything, okay, and but it has to be a gadget. Okay, so what you can do is, okay, so this, um, okay, so I've come up with an example. Okay, let's look at this picture. Alright, so I just got this online. Okay, so this is a mobile phone. Okay, the brand is Nokia. Okay, so see it says, capture your world, trusted, always secure, and built to last. Okay, Nokia 5.4. Okay, RRP means recommended retail price, 699 ringgit. Alright, so, okay, so let's look at this. What it does, it does what? Take photos with the 48 megapixel quad camera and 16 megapixel front camera. Alright, so these are the things that it can do. Okay, the display, okay, and then uh, number one in security and software updates and it has 4 GB RAM and 128 GB ROM. Alright, and then the cost. Okay, the cost is RM699 and where it can be bought. Okay, see where can you buy this? And then uh, 
visit www.magpie.com for great bargains. So meaning you have to buy this online in this website. Okay, and who it would be suitable for. Alright, so can you see this in yellow? A phone for all. So meaning if you are a teenager, you are a school student or you are an adult and all everyone can use this phone because this phone is a user-friendly phone, a simple phone possibly and it is uh, it is suitable for all ages. Alright? Okay, so never spend your money before you have it. Alright, be wise in spending your money. Some people, you know what they do? Uh, probably they are waiting for their salary. Their salary is not in. So before even the salary could come, they will already put a list how they can spend their money to finish their money. So be wise in spending your money. Alright, so thank you for um, joining today's class. Alright, and have a nice day. Bye.